Let's continue on with our rational functions. Last video, I showed you how to find zeros and where the function is undefined. And from that, we knew that taking from the numerator, this part up here, from that, we knew that we have zeros at x equals minus 4 and x equals positive 4. Then looking at the denominator, we know that our function is undefined at x equals minus 2. Now, we'll take those numbers and do a sign analysis of it. Jason Henderson, you can go to Carolee's office now. She's there waiting for you. Jason Henderson to Carolee's office. So we have our function written up there. And what you had told me, or what we had figured out, is that when x equals plus 4, we're going to have a 0 up at 4. So drawing a line straight up, oh, my mistake, x equals we have 0 at x equals minus 4. So straight up from x equals minus 4, we're going to have 0. To the left of that, say if x equals minus 6, minus 6 plus 4 is going to give me a minus 2. I'm going to have negatives. To the right of it, let's say at x equals 1, 1 plus 4 is going to give me a plus 5. Everything is going to be a positive. Hey. Okay x minus 4. That is going to give us a 0 at positive 4. That's the one I should have drawn. I tried to draw last time. So straight up from plus 4, I'm going to have another 0. The left of that 0, let's try at, let's say at 0. If x equals 0, 0 minus 4 is going to give me a minus 4. So everything to the left of that is going to be a negative. To the right, let's take 10. If x equals 10, positive 10 minus 4 is going to give me positive 6, so it's going to be a positive. Everything to the right of that 0 is going to be a positive. Good. Last of all, x plus 2. Now, if you remember, x plus 2 was on the denominator, and if it's in the denominator, it's undefined because you can't divide by 0. So at x equals minus 2, we do a line straight up, and we're going to have not a 0, it's going to be undefined. To the left of minus 2, let's say minus 4, if x equals minus 4, minus 4 plus 2 gives you minus 2, so it's going to be negative. To the left, we have a negative. To the right, if x equals 3, 3 plus 2 gives me positive 5. We're going to have a positive up to the right. Our last step here is to find out what the total is. So what I'm going to do for the total is I'm going to drop these zeros and the undefined marks down. Got one there, one there, and one there. So at minus 4, I'm going to have a 0. At minus 2, I'm going to have infinite, as in undefined. And at plus 4, I'm going to have a 0. Now, it's a matter of finding out what, each, what it's going to be at each one. So, let's take the left of the 0. I have a minus, and a minus, and a minus. Three minuses should give me another minus. Minus times a minus is a positive. Positive times a minus gives me a minus. So everything to the left of this 0 is going to be negative. Next step is at minus 3. I have a minus, a minus, a plus. So plus times a minus gives me a minus. Minus times a minus gives me a plus. So in between minus 4 and minus 2, everything should give me positives. Doing the same thing as we go on. Between minus 2 and 4, plus, minus, plus should give me end up with minuses. So minus, minus, minus. And everything to the right, plus, plus, plus. Everything's pluses, so we're going to have pluses here. So what that means is between from up to negative 4, we have neg our function is negative. Between negative 4 and negative 2, it's positive. Negative, 